Hey there, pirates. Welcome aboard the Anime No Me channel. Although One Piece is in its final arc, the Straw Hats still have a lot of potential for growth, especially in their abilities, which will make them even more powerful. Nami, as one of the main pirates in this crew, will gain great power by the end of this current arc. After all, she has immense untapped potential, and this is even connected to Uranus. In today's video, we'll talk about the significant evolution in Nami's abilities after the Egghead arc, and how this evolution could make her capable of facing powerful enemies. I hope for your support to help our crew win and to do so, you just need to click the thumbs up button, leave a like, and subscribe to the channel. By doing this, you will win an incredible devil fruit, so just comment which fruit you want. Guys, on the verge of One Piece's epic conclusion, the Straw Hats are determined to strengthen their skills to face the most formidable adversaries that cross their path. During the Wano arc, we witnessed remarkable advancements in the abilities of some crew members. However, other members have not yet experienced such significant development, signaling the possibility of future growth. In the brief chapters where Vegapunk was revealed, we witnessed a variety of creations, both failed and successful, conceived by him and his punks, who possessed the same level of intelligence and knowledge as the scientist. Among his notable creations, Vegapunk developed a lightsaber, although its usefulness was impaired. Additionally, he created mechanical sea monsters with significant destructive power. A notable example is the Vegaforce 01, an imposing robot with incredible physical strength, the ability to fly, and inspired by a creation from the Void Century, which we saw facing Agorase. Vegapunk is also responsible responsible for a series of combat tools with impressive powers. With this in mind, it is plausible that Vegapunk could indirectly contribute to the enhancement of Nami's abilities, especially concerning the manipulation of lightning and storms using her claim attack and Zeus, now definitively linked to Nami. During the Wano arc, we witnessed the fusion of Zeus with Nami's claim attack, elevating their capabilities in storm and lightning manipulation, making them a formidable duo. Given the expertise of Nami's companions, such as Usopp and Frankie, and the knowledge they gained from their encounter with Vegapunk and his expertise in technology and genetic alteration through Devil Fruits, they could potentially enhance Nami's combat tool, making it even more powerful. Considering Vegapunk's feats, which had previously been observed by Frankie, such as granting a sword the powers of an elephant, Zoan, and even giving a cannon the abilities of a dog, it's plausible that he knows how to further enhance Zeus and Nami's capabilities, providing a substantial boost to the crew. The possibility of Zeus remaining confined within Nami's climb attack raises the need for substantial modifications to the weapon, ensuring that its essence is preserved while the equipment is strengthened. Through these modifications, Nami could store a considerably larger amount of black spheres in the climb attack, thereby increasing the capacity to power Zeus. This enhancement would allow Zeus's sorcery climb attack to form even more imposing clouds, producing a lightning storm as vast and aggressive as the abilities used by Anel, but now channeled through Zeus. The modified climb attack could grant Zeus greater autonomy in using his abilities, even without possessing an independent physical body. This would allow Zeus to control the climb attack on his own, moving to desired locations and altering the sorcery climb attack's form to its original configuration, without relying exclusively on Nami's commands. This freedom of movement would enable Zeus to attack opponents autonomously if Nami were disarmed of the sorcery climb attacked. Additionally, this capability would offer the unique opportunity for Nami to use Zeus as a mount, replicating the dynamic Big Mom maintained with the small yet powerful cloud. Given these possibilities, it is evident that technological intervention would be crucial in significantly enhancing the items possessed by the Straw Hat Pirates. These improvements would not only elevate their combat tools to a new level, but also expand their fighting styles, making them truly competent to play prominent roles in the crew of the next Pirate King. We can also imagine the introduction of new climate adaptation functions to the climb attack, allowing Nami to adjust weather conditions according to the environment she is in. This ability would be particularly useful in extreme scenarios, such as scorching deserts or icy regions, providing the crew with a unique strategic advantage. Another potential evolution would be the implementation of an improved interface between Nami and Zeus, enabling more intuitive and strategic communication during battles. This would allow for more effective coordination between the navigator and her electric ally, enhancing their capabilities in complex combat situations. Moreover, there are many powerful tools with different abilities that a pirate could use to become stronger, but the most powerful were created over 800 years ago, these being the ancient weapons, considered the most powerful in the world and extremely rare to find. We know them as Pluton, Poseidon, and Uranus. These tools possess great destructive power, being capable of wiping out entire islands, erasing them completely from the map. We already know about Pluton, which is a massive warship whose technology and blueprints are sealed in Frankie's memory. 
We also discovered the existence of Poseidon, which is actually a living being in this case, Princess Shirahoshi, who has the power to control the Sea Kings. And finally, Uranus. We don't have confirmation of what exactly this ancient weapon is, as it has not yet been introduced in the story. However, much evidence suggests that Uranus has the power to control the weather. Apparently even more powerful than the others, the reason is quite simple. Its power would be used directly to attack. This ancient weapon, also known by its original name, Uranus, which refers to a sky deity, would allow the complete annihilation of entire islands in seconds, with great ease completely erasing the existence of the island or kingdom where its bearer used this tool. This is indicated when Shiki tried to attack Roger's pirates to obtain the location of Uranus, something Roger had acquired. If Roger indeed had access to Uranus's location and the possibility of Uranus being used currently to give someone absolute power, this indicates that at some point the Straw Hats will also also possess this information. After all, Luffy's dream is to achieve the same accomplishments as the first Pirate King, and for this reason, he sails to the places Roger navigated in the past. Thus, we can imagine that at some point the Straw Hat Pirates will find Uranus. Unlike Roger, they may choose to keep this ancient weapon, especially since Vegapunk has revealed that the world could sink due to the use of Uranus, Poseidon, and Pluton. For this reason, it would make sense for the Straw Hats to keep Uranus to prevent it from falling into the hands of someone who would use it for evil, thereby determining the fate of the world. And if Uranus does end up with the Straw Hats, it would make sense for this legendary item to be entrusted to Nami. After all, its weather-related powers align perfectly with the abilities and knowledge she possesses, making Nami perhaps the only person capable of using Uranus to its full potential. We don't Nami's continuous evolution with the climate attack, from her initial ability to manipulate the weather to communicating with a divine weather entity like Zeus, is truly remarkable. She has become one of the Straw Hat Pirates' most promising forces, a figure who not only guides the crew on their journey, but also shapes the environment around her in surprising ways. Moreover, with the arrival of the five elders and the revelation of their powers, we can even imagine a fusion of science and magic, which could elevate her abilities to a new level, allowing her to manipulate not just the weather, but also other natural forces such as tsunamis, or even the cycle of the seasons. Additionally, Nami can continue to train and refine her combat skills, becoming an even more astute and versatile strategist. She has already demonstrated her ability to use her climatic abilities intelligently in battle, and her growth as a warrior could make her a formidable opponent in any scenario. However, it's important to note that as Nami becomes more powerful, she will also face increasingly greater challenges. Powerful enemies will be drawn to her fame and abilities, requiring her to keep evolving to protect her crew and achieve her goals. But what about you? Do you believe Nami will undergo all these evolutions? Share your thoughts. That was today's content. We hope you liked it and want to share your opinion on the subject. Don't forget to share the video, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and stay amazing.